Hi guys and welcome to a new video. So I just woke up and I have this uh, new thing I'm starting. This is a jar basically and inside I have all these little papers and they are actually project or things that I want to do, place I want to go to and um, little things that need to be done. It's like a to-do list but instead of being a list it's in a jar so I just pick one and um, today is the first day where I'm trying that and I picked up this one which is Isil Santor costume so I thought it would be a good idea to actually vlog this one so I would uh, show you how I'm going to make the Santor costume for my Isil. So I have this um, Mio kit that I had forever probably more than a year because I bought it like before I even moved to this place and I've been here for more than a year already so I haven't done any work on it I actually sprayed the face once and that's it I didn't even paint it or anything so that's my easel that is supposed to be a centaur and of course um, I have some felt because I'm going to make a felt centaur costume but um, I actually bought the felt to make a centaur costume for this easel but I use it for something else so I'm going to have to go to the store I, when it opens which is in about um, 30 minutes and I'm going to buy the felt for the centaur and hopefully I'll be able to uh, make a centaur costume so that's the plan for today uh, not everything here is doll related so I'm not going to have like a daily video uh, of things I'm making from this jar but whenever uh, it's doll related I'll try and put it on this uh, channel as well so uh, finger crossed that I can make a good centaur costume guys I'll talk to you in a bit so I have the Felt, but I was thinking maybe I could use some beads for decoration uh, like a necklace or something but those are going to be too big and they are kind of too shiny like I want something that is like ice looking so. and these are pretty nice but maybe too big and sort of I mean, too round for a guy, I guess. So, maybe not. Oh, stones. So we have here a box of little stones. So I just have to pick the color, basically. So, oh, those are cool. Oh. This one is awesome, it can be like a teeth. So I'm gonna get that. And he's gonna need like something to attach it around his neck. Or maybe I can put that on a belt. Like he's got several because there is plenty here. And I think I'm gonna get the stones in blue. Like little blue stones. So it's going to be pretty. So, um, what else can I get, guys? This is kind of nice too, but probably too big. So I got a little treat for Ibarichan. Uh, two days ago she actually got the seal because it's a sort of like sea creature uh, catch up on like the cat hats and today I think she's got the 
uh, killer whales. So when I go home, I'm gonna put it on her and I'm gonna take pictures so that you're gonna see that too. So I'm on the way back, I got grocery shopping and I went to die. So I have a few more things that I haven't showed you yet. So I'll uh, take a picture of that too and I'm just gonna put it like straight away after this little bit of video. So anyway guys, uh, I'll see you. Well, I guess next time I'm going to actually be making his center outfit. have a look at what I'm going to need so first the felt so I have this huge tube of felt uh, I'm not going to use all of it but basically uh, that's going to be way more than enough and if I make mistake I can try it and redo it again then I have uh, some of what's left of the blue felt because I'm making an ice centaur so it has to be white and blue and I have so the little stone beads that I got at Daiso and I also have those that's kind of like a um, sort of fake leathery thread so I can actually put that around his neck and attach stuff to it and I also have some um, other fake leather type of fabric it's like a sort of felt on one side and sort of fake leathery on the each side coming out like play a little bit but not really so it has like a nicer softer feel to it so i'm going to use that maybe to make a bag like it can hang around his uh body so he can carry stuff if he wants to and i have those little teeth like beads as well and of course i'm going to need some stuffing so that's sort of uh, stuff for pillow so I'm gonna put that in the back leg and I have pipe cleaners because I want the back leg to be able to fold and move and be possible so I'm going to use like the um, pipe cleaner to fill those up and so the pipe cleaner are going to be able to bend inside the leg and so the leg should be bending at the same time and of course I have the Mio kit so the easel body is inside so let's see um, right here if I can take it out with just one hand it's working <coughs> it's not really working okay um, okay here so you have the easel body there. The, the face is on my desk uh, on the other side because I, as I said, I spread it already. Even so, I'm not going to do, to do it today. I'm going to do it when I pick up the, um, make the face in my jar. So anyway, so I need the body because I would need to uh, actually draw the pattern. So I also have some paper so I can like just grab a piece of that and draw them the body on it uh, for the centaur I have my Alice pen so normally uh, I should be able to do that so let's get started so this is what the pattern sketch should look like so I'll have my uh, doll stand at the front leg and I'll have the pipe cleaner here on the back leg and basically so this is the side of the body so this part here and to be able to close up the legs, I decided to have like those tabs on each side so that uh, when you actually like because you cannot just roll the leg like you, you need some extra piece of fabric to actually fold the leg like a trouser around the, the doll leg basically. So I'm going to need two of those pieces and I'm going to need some thing to put underneath for the belly. So I'm going to draw that on a different page, but normally that should be a, about the size of the centaur. Uh, like I'm going to sew it as well, so it's going to be a little bit smaller. And yeah, 
I think that should sort of work. Hopefully. We'll see what happens when I put it all together. So I trace a pattern and flipped it over so that you have one on this side and the, with the back leg here and on the other side so that uh, they are like opposite side of the body basically. So I just have to cut this one and then I have to trace the belly and I'm just first I'm going to see, see the size of it. Um, it's going to go from the front here and all the way so maybe I need to make it a little bit longer because it doesn't cover it needs to cover at the back of the leg so it needs to be longer than this a little bit because it needs to go to the front so I'm going to make it a little bit longer and then I'm going to cut it out so I have all three pieces cut down and now it's time to sew it all up together so needle and thread and and if you're trying that, try not to eat yourself with a needle because I do that very often and it's painful! So first, starting with the leg, I'm going to fold it over um, in this direction and sew like along the line here and same, fold it here together and sew on the line so that when I turn it outside in uh, like inside out, like when I flip it over to have the beautiful side outside, basically there won't be the visible black line. So, um, let's go. Little test right here. I sewed the legs, so the back leg are sewed on both sides and the front leg, and I put the easel inside. So the pieces are separated because I haven't put the belly on yet. But I put the easel inside, so basically the belly is going to come up here to cover uh, everything from the front and underneath and at the back. But so far, uh, basically that's what his leg actually look like. So of course it needs to be flipped up inside out from what we have, but it looks pretty cool. And of course because the leg actually bends, so the centaur leg or octopus actually going to bend too so I'm kind of happy with what it looks like so far so now to sew the belly so I put the belly down here it's going up covering the ass on this side and it's going like up uh, here at the front so I just have to put it inside out like show the beautiful part out and try it on the doll so the front is a little bit weird. I think it's because the belly part was a little bit too large. So it's sort of like it's too large between the legs. So I'm going to try and modify that to make it look better. Um, it's probably going to be too large on the rest, but the rest doesn't really matter because the... Um, like the, there is no doll inside, so it, it, it can be as large as possible, like as large as it wants. Just for the front here, for the front part here, uh, it's going to be a little bit troublesome and not really pretty. So I'm going to have to change that. So let me change that first and let's see how it goes. So I had it fold at the center and it looks a little bit better and that's how it looks like underneath. So that's... I guess that's it, so now I have to put the um, uh, pipe cleaner inside and stuff it up and sew the top here. So, so easily standing here on four legs. I think it's not too bad, like there is a little bit, it's not so pretty here. And he's got a, his belly is going down quite a bit. And he's got a fat ass. <laughs> but I think it's not bad for a first time making a centaur. So I'm gonna keep that on. And he can pose super well, normally. I should have <laughs> folded the other leg because this one... Okay, let's try it. Okay. 
Okay. See, you can f you can stand on three legs, and the reason is because here it's like under the feet, so it's just uh, slippery a little bit. So basically, yeah, it's working kind of well. So I still need to make uh, the bottom feet part, the tail, and some decorations. So yeah, I'll show you when I'm done with that. So here we go guys, this is my um, Santor costume for my Izzel Mio kit and as you can see I made a few things uh, for him on top of the body so first uh, you have the Santor body with uh, blue feet and blue tail and he has a saddle bag with some decoration like I used a little blue stone I got to make decoration for it and it's like a saddle bag so it's like hanging on both sides and you can open them like they don't actually close so they're always open and then you have some decoration so let me put that closer a little bit so you have like a necklace and you have some of the stone hanging here um as decoration basically so i guess uh, that's it for today so the next thing i need to do for this doll is basically make the head which i haven't done yet and also uh put a wig and everything so uh all those things are in my uh little box so when i'm going to like in, in inside this thing it's one of those paper in there so whenever I'm going to pick up that paper, uh, I'll do the rest and I'll introduce to you the full doll when it's finished. So I don't know when that's gonna be because there is a lot of project in that little jar. So uh, I'm just doing them like one at a time. Uh, this one took me about forever. I went shopping for um, all the material at 10 this morning and it's 6 p.m. now so it took quite a while to get everything done i had like half an hour for lunch so yeah um i'm pretty satisfied with the results so i'm going to take a few pictures and put that uh just after the conclusion so anyway guys i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to give me a thumb up and to subscribe leave me your comment in the comment section below and see you next time for something else have fun whatever you do bye